going on y'all welcome back to the channel I'm gonna show you today how to connect your drums to Easy Drummer. The first things you need to do as soon as you set up so that you don't run into the problem that I ran into. Right here, right now, on this channel, it's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. All right, man, so check it out. When I brought home the Elise's drum set and set it up and plugged it into my DAW and pulled up Easy Drummer, I ran into a mapping issue. Every time I hit the time, it would play a symbol. And you're probably gonna run into the same issue, and as soon as you do, you're gonna think that the issue is in the DAW. It is not, it is an easy drummer. And here's how you fix it. First things first, let's pull up our DAW, and here's easy drummer ready to go. Now, I'm gonna open up easy drummer so that you can see it, and boom, we're inside easy drummer. So how do you get your DAW how do you get Easy Drummer to play the right thing when you hit it on your drum? Here's how you do that. You go over to Browser, and you go over here to MIDI, and then you go down to MIDI Library, and it's gonna open up this screen. You wanna slide all the way over to where it says eDrum. And you see here where it says MIDI Mapping? Right. You go down here and select the drum you are using. It's just that simple. If I'm using an Elisa's drum set, I can select the leases, or maybe I'm losing a certain type of Elise's drum set, it's there. Or maybe, of course I'm using Simmons, I select Simmons. Once I select the drum set, boom, now when I play, whatever I hit, it matches what's on my screen, as long as I got enough toms and everything to match what's there. And that's how you map your drums to your doll or to easy drummer real quick real simple and uh yeah so go on and get the plan if you haven't already click that little thing right there so that you can subscribe to my channel and check out this next video over here see y'all next time peace